Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Anita from Anita's Cake Bakery. Today I'm going to show you how to make these isomalt sails. Apparently they're meant to be all the rage for 2021. So if you want to create a really impressive showstopper cake topper for your cake, then keep on watching. So what exactly is isomalt? Isomalt is a sugar substitute that has been made from beets. Isomalt is sweet, but not as sweet as sugar, and is usually found in sugar-free sweets. It will not caramelise when heat is applied to it the way sugar does, and it will not burn or turn brown. So it's great to use for making gemstones for maybe a jewellery cake, or a clear glass for a gingerbread house. So for the demo, I'm going to show you how to use isomalt granules to make these sails. Okay, let's just put these to the side. Right, so to make the isomalt sails, you need these granules. So they're just basically tiny beads of isomalt and you just literally need to melt it. You can melt it in the microwave or you can melt it in a pan. Tonight I'm going to be showing you how to use a pan to melt the isomalt. So you need 100 grams of isomalt, you need a silicone mat like this and you also need your food colouring. I'm going to use um, pink and purple. I'm probably going to mix them tonight actually. So I'm using um, a food colour by Squire's Kitchen. It's called Neons <clears throat> and it's from their new range and this is a pink and I've got purple and you can purchase these from the cake decorating company. Everything that I use tonight I'm going to leave it in um, the comments and you can just click the link and buy. So I'm going to use these two colours and then you need a spatula. So to start with, I'm going to pour the granules into my pot here. So I've got 100 grams, I'm just pouring that in. It will take a few minutes to start melting down. I'll just turn it up a bit. So you can just have it on medium high. Just make sure it's quite evenly, even in the bottom. So it won't burn, but I wouldn't advise you to leave it <clears throat> on the pot, in, on the stove and do something else. Just keep your eye on it still. It will most probably melt quicker in the microwave, but um, we just need to give it a bit more time since it's on the direct heat here. So while that's dissolving, I'm just going to show you the colours that I used to make this one here. So the colours I used for this were um, blue, again from the neon range, and green. And I mixed them both together and I also added in some Faye Cahill um, gold dust. So when this started melting, I added in the dust and just swirled it around a little. And that just gave it a little bit of a sparkly effect. Um, I did make this one uh, about a week ago and as you can see it's starting to go a little bit dull in colour. Um, this one, which I made today, is a bit more glossier. So um, if, you, if you are making these for a cake, I would advise you probably make it as close as you can to the day that you're making the cake, delivering the cake. Um, just so that it doesn't start going dull in colour or anything like that. 
Um, it's quite um, dry at the moment, but it can get a bit sticky depending on the humidity. Um, but there's another thing that you can use on there just to make sure that it stays glossy. And that is um, PME Edible Glaze Spray. If you just spray this, um, once you've made the um, sale, it should stay glossy for a while and um, yeah, give this a try. You can also purchase this from the Cake Decorating Company. I've just seen how this is going. It's starting to melt now, so let's just move these. I don't know if you can see on the camera, but it's just starting to melt at the bottom, so I'll give it a little bit of a mix. Probably don't mix it too much because it does, it does stick to the spatula, so maybe it's best just to leave it to melt a bit more. I think maybe the heat wasn't high enough, so let me just turn it up a little bit more. But yeah, it's coming. It's starting to melt. starting to melt there so it shouldn't be much longer when it's melted I'm going to add the food color in I'm going to most probably use a toothpick just to put small amounts in at a time it's starting to bubble away there so it's Nearly there, not too long. You can even swirl it around in the pot rather than using a spatula. Not too long now, a couple more minutes maybe and that should be done. And once that's bubbled away, when it's fully melted, um, just remove it from the heat just until the um, bubbles simmer down a bit. And then I'm going to pour it onto this silicone mat. Um, you'll also need a, um, a bottle, something like this, because once we've poured the um, isomalt onto the mat, we're going to place the mat over the bottle like this so that it can start doing its thing. It will start dripping down and come into shape, come into the shape of the, the mat. So we're nearly there. There we go. So depending on the shape of your bottle, so this one's quite narrow. Um, at the top. Um, the other one that I'm going to show you, I'm going to try it on this, which is a wider base. So it will determine the, how thin or how wide your um, cell will be. And sometimes with these ones, they don't really stand up properly on their own. So you can use some isomalt to stick it to your cake. Like that's bubbling away. So now I'm going to remove that from the heat. So the bubbles simmer down and this is the point where I'm going to add some of the colour in. So I'm using the pink. I'll just swirl that in. And I'm going to use some purple. And you really do need to be careful with this because it's so hot, um, it can burn. So just, just be careful with this. You don't burn yourself, so I'll just give it a little swirl. So now I'm going to pour this onto my mat here. So because my mat's um, 
not flat it's 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 been folded so it's got the shape of the fold in there it's not the isomalt's not gone dead in the center but if you just continue moving it around slowly just keep moving it and when it cools down it will start moving slower but just make sure you keep moving it because if it's too thin in one area um, it's it can break because it's, it's quite delicate still so just make sure you keep moving it Right, this is starting to move a bit slower now, but it's still a bit too runny, so I'm just gonna keep going for a little bit longer, and then I'm going to drape it over my bottle. Right, so I'm gonna just grab my bottle, and just literally drape this, over like so and it will just start dripping it will start doing its thing dripping it will just do random shapes and you can just leave this to dry probably for about five or ten minutes or so So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this to the side and I'm going to go ahead and show you another one um, in another colour. And then I'll come back and show you how to unmould it. So I'm just going to put this to the side. So you can use the same pot again. Um, I'm going to go for a black colour this time and I'm using Progel black. Obviously I've got purple in there so it's fine, it's just going to turn it black, that's fine, it's what I want anyway. So no need to go ahead and get a new pot or anything, no need to wash it out, just use the same one. So I'm going to just add another 100 grams. Isomalt just to show you that this is the um, brand that I'm using it's by Saracino and I believe I purchased this one from Amazon so you can go ahead and have a look on there they do also sell this in the cake decorating company as well but it will I don't know if they've got this brand but yeah it will work just as well Another thing with this isomalt, it is edible, but if you consume too much of it, it can cause you an upset stomach. And then that's because it, the body does not actually digest it. It goes straight through you. So yeah, just, just try not to eat too much of this. Um, if you do decide to eat some, that is. Right, so. This is almost melting down. But you do have to have it on quite a high heat for it to melt quickly.
So when storing your um, isomalt cells, I think it's best to keep them in a cool, dark place and away from the humidity, because as I said earlier, it will start to get a little bit sticky, a little bit tacky. So um, it's best just to keep it away from direct um, heat, direct sunlight or anything like that. While that's melting away, let's have a look at this one. So, so it's it's quite hard. Um, it feels quite warm still. So maybe I'll give it a little bit longer. And I'm thinking maybe next time I should have added a bit more colour, so it's a bit more bold, because there's some parts where it's see-through there. You can hardly see the pink either that I put in there. Maybe I should have just put purple um, for a bolder colour like the blue. Like this one is a bit more bolder. I did use quite a bit of blue in this one anyway, so. But yeah, I quite like this. Right, so this is, I'll just put this back here. We'll try that in a few more minutes. So this one's bubbling away, that one's ready. So I'm taking the isomalt off the heat, it's all melted and ready there. That's what it looks like there. So I'm going to add some black. And I'm going to mix it this time. You can just see how intense this heat is. Right, so I've mixed that. It's really black, this. I've put lots of black in there to make it really nice and bold. And I think I'm going to put some of this glitter in there, the fake Cahill one. going to flick some in. Right, let's put the lid back on. So there it is with the glitter. So you can swirl that in a little. So I'm just grabbing my, my second silicone mat. This one's a bit flatter than the other one, so it will probably work better. So just pull this in, into the middle. It's a nice, rich, dark colour there. You can't really see the glitter in there, so I might add a bit more. You can also add it once it's um, dried as well. Right, so let's just swirl this around. When it starts, when the movement starts to slow down a bit, then you'll know that it's ready to be draped over your bottle. Mm. 
nearly there. Oops. It's slowing down now, so I think I'm going to get my bottle ready. So this time I'm using um, the bottle that's got a flat top. making sure that it's as central as it can be and then that will start dripping you're never going to have two cells that are exactly the same they're always going to be different so I think that's the beauty of it really they look really nice when they're when they're different and the drips are in different areas. Right, so I'm just gonna leave this one to continue dripping and we'll see what the other one's like. Right, I think this one's ready now to be unmoulded but I think I just heard a snap so there's some areas where it's just a little bit too thin so I'm just going to turn it upside down and take the bottle out and this is where you have to be really gentle it's so delicate really delicate here you can just literally just try and peel it peel the mold away from the sail. Oops. No, <laughs> there's no easy way to do this. It's just so, you just have to be so delicate with this. Just go slow, as slow as you can. Sometimes when the folds are a little bit too tight, then the mold can get stuck in there. And that's when it's a bit tricky to get it out. And I'm in a bit of a tight spot here. I'm trying to do this without breaking it. Yeah, done. <sighs> Done. So there we go. There's with our first sail, isomalt sail. So as I said, because the bottle um, had quite a narrow lid, this won't stand up on its own. So you'd have to use some melted isomalt to stick this on your um, cake. A tiny bit broke there, but yeah, it's really delicate, but it's nice isn't it it's, it's like a piece of art so that's that one done so I'm just going to put this maybe if I put it on here it still feels a bit warm actually so I'll just put this out the way and let's see how the black one's going 
So with this one now it's a bit different because obviously as I said it's had a flat um, flat the, the bottle had a flat lid and a wider lid as well so this one didn't drip as much but let me see if I can unmold this one it's still hot so we'll give this one a bit more time So to, um, to wash these, all we need to do is just leave it in some warm water. Um, it, just, it does need a bit of time to keep soaking, so, because it's not easy to come out. But um, just keep this in some warm water, and that should be fine after a while. Turn this off. So with this actually, I wanted to show you that there are some other things that you can do with this. Oh. Guys, I'm sure you heard my mold break. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. That just shows how delicate these cells are. Um, I remade it off camera, but what I should have shown you all the pieces actually, but it just goes to show that it's so easy to redo it all again if something like that happens. So I just put all the pieces back in the pot and I remelted it and I've done it all over again and I've remade this cell. So it's a bit more purpley now because the two colors have merged together a bit more than it was in the first place. So this is the remade sail right here. And what I was going to show you is another thing that you can do with these cells, and that is um, you can paint just the edges with some gold, silver, whatever color you want. So I'm just gonna show you now, I've got some paint, actually I've got some, it's luster dust that I've mixed with some vodka. You can also use lemon juice, and just to make like a paint consistency. And you just literally just paint the edges here. Just go over the edge. You can just paint all the way around, however you want to really. It just gives another, um, just gives another effect really. You can paint the bits there, you can just paint along here. So that was just another um, another thing that I wanted to show you. So I'm not going to paint all the way around. It's just so that you can see if you wanted to do something like that, then that's what you can do. So I think this black is ready to be unmolded now. So I'm going to move this carefully out of the way. Don't want any more accidents again. And I'm going to unmold this black one. So just gonna take this off carefully. Just remove the jar. It should be a bit more easier to unmold because it's it had um, a flat bottom, see? So this will be easier to <clears throat> stand up because the bottom's flat. And actually, I quite like this one. You can't really see um, the gold bits too much. Maybe I could have added a little bit more of the gold powder but you can always go in later and add some more gold just to make it a bit more shimmery more gliss to make it glisten more it's up to you anything goes with this i'm sure you can also paint the edges of this one but yeah so that's the different just to show you the different types of cells that can be made depending on the top there you've got a flat bottom and then purple one the bottoms like this so it doesn't really stand up too well well actually this second one that I made does <laughs> funnily funnily enough this one does stand up but um, yeah so that's the two different cells that I wanted to show you um, I'm really happy with them they'll look really good on top of a cake so 
don't forget there's not going to be two cells that will be exactly the same so just give it a try and see what you come up with um, and that's it I'm just um, happy that you guys were all here watching with me this evening so don't forget to subscribe and be sure to hit the notification bell so that when I've uploaded more content you will know also don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the demo and share with your friends and family too thanks for watching take care until I see you again bye